I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong using the 2020 Green Book. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to practice making quick decisions. This is important to do for a couple of reasons. Well, three really, because you want to make quick decisions when you're playing with your friends so that you don't frustrate the players at the table. So if you train yourself to make quick decisions, you will help create a comfortable playing environment. Also, if you ever want to play in a tournament, you have to play in a timed game. So making quick decisions is really important. And also, soon you'll be able to play online. When you play online, you have to make decisions in typically about eight seconds. So you can train yourself to make quick decisions with this exercise. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. I have some cards here with east, south, west, and north, player one, two, three, four. We're just gonna randomly draw which card to identify which seat we're in. And we'll do the same thing to identify who is prevailing. So for the first one, we're going to be south. North is prevailing. Well, Player two, south, north, prevailing. So we are south, non-dealer, so we're going to get 13 tiles. Green, seven, one, two, three, six, pair, eight, three, five, six, eight, pair, eight, three, eight, three, eight, double numbers. I play double numbers here. Three, eight, with a pair of Windsor Dragons. So let's pass, oh, that's a bit risky. Let's see, let's do one, five, seven. Oh, yeah, let's see, maybe... Maybe we could put in an even number there. No keepers here. We did pick up a five. Maybe we should keep BAMs for a one suit option. BAMs. Here's a West. Three, eight. Oh, three, eight there. Okay, we're going to do. Oh, look how close we are though. One, two pair. Dragon West. Let's pass one blind. Lap. We got a six. I was hoping that was an eight. We're kind of in between double numbers, two, eight, or three, eight, three, eight. But here we also have potential for one suit. There's seven tiles. I think what I would do here is hoard bams. Let's see. Yeah, if we had paired up the eight or the three, I might have stuck with double numbers. But since we were able to gather BAMs and we have a predominant pattern there with the suit, I would focus on that and discard those. I would say we'll, we're going to be an underdog here because we have five discards. That's kind of a lot. I try to have four discards or less. So this will be a challenge. We're just going to hoard bams, maybe dragons, because we could maybe play a hand with dragons. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint one and what you would have done. Oh, 
Oh, we're south again. West. So we're player two and west is prevailing. So we're going to get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston for this next sprint. Northeast, red, white, honors, one, two, three, and cracks with a pair of twos, five, six, nine, and bams, two, seven, in dots. I would play one suit in honors, maybe a hand of honors. Let's pass two, seven, five. We got a west and a nine. I think I would stick with cracks, but we also have potential for a nice big hand, angels. Let's let a three go and see if we get more honors. We did! I would pass one blind. Lap. We got another honor. I would play angels. We do have an extra pair in here. So maybe something with just honors. I would still gather honors and terminals and maybe give up the dragon or the north if angels comes in. There is a hand called wins and terms, number 71 on page 25. Five pairs of wins and terminals, each dragon and one paired. That would fit these tiles. We could, e we could just as easily do dragons in terms if dragons come in and then let that go, but I'd rather not. We could also consider playing heavenly twins if we just pair up. I think that was a pretty good Charleston. For a hand of honors, I think we would be a contender. We would be a front runner. We only have two discards and all these are keepers. We just need to really develop it and then pick a hand. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. I wonder if cracks might have been better. One, there are two cracks in there. It would have been even because we would have kept the cracks and let those go. So it would have been an even result. Okay, we'll go on to the last sprint. Well, let's actually be east this time. We'll start with an extra tile. So we're going to be east, and then we'll pick prevailing south. South, oh, please, come on. These are new, so they need to be shaped to stick on. All right, we're going to be east, so we'll get 14 tiles. South is prevailing. We have north, south, white, one, two, three, five, six in dots, seven, eight in cracks, two, six, seven in bams. I would hold two, six for maybe double numbers, but then I would hold probably the dots and then maybe let a wind go so we're not passing 
two sevens. We got a dragon and a south. That's a pair. Okay, here's, oh, oh no, we need east. I was thinking Susie Q. Okay, so two, two, six, two, six, seven, eight, red. Let's let those go. Red north. We gave up the red. Here's a north though. North, south, three, bam. Oh, we could do two, three. Two, three. Two, three. So I don't remember if double numbers is requires prevailing. I think it's just a pair. So let's pass these three. Eight, four, nine dots lap. Okay. So we did end up with a pair of Norse Souths and a predominant suit here. I would consider playing one suit in honors, but we do have potential for double numbers with two, three, or two, six with that two bam. That was kind of challenging. Let's look at double numbers and double check on the pair. Double numbers is a number hand on page 22, number 50, two pungs of the same number in two suits with a pair of Windsor Dragons. We have two pair. You know, we could maybe just let one of these go and play, uh, let's see, news lineup. Oh, news lineup, does that require a pair of wins? I think it does. News lineup, news with one win paired. One through nine in one suit. No multiples with the number tiles. News and one win paired. So maybe think about news lineup if double numbers doesn't come in. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with sprint three. Let's see how things went with time. If you already know how to play Wright Patterson Mahjong, you know the categories in the book. You don't have to know every hand, but knowing what categories you can gather for is important. If you're new to the game, focus on studying the categories so that you don't have to look at the book for every decision. Gather for the category that you think will use most of your tiles. And then when you get to a stopping point where you have to free up tiles during the Charleston Look at the book quickly to figure out which hand to play so you can free up discards and keep it moving. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.